Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to um, build the UI for this. So, so let's jump right into Mainor Storyboard, and then we will build the UI for this app. So in this app, we will use a navigation controller, which is the thing that gives us the navigation bar on the top. And then we will use a, um, we will use a table view, a UI table view controller. So I will delete that one. And then I will drag out a navigation controller like that. Okay, so by default, a navigation controller that we drag out from the object palette already have a table view controller. So that's great. Okay, so in this one, I will select um, the navigation controller, select the navigation bar, and I want to configure this navigation bar so that it looks like the, the app that I want to build. So for this, I will select this color because this is actually the color that um, of the Twitter that recommend us to use. So the code for this is 55ACEE. -E, okay, and if you wonder how to find this uh, hexadecimal code color, then you can go to this and then go to RGB slider, and after that, we have this hex color. Okay, and then next, I want to configure the, um, the type of color to be white. Okay, and maybe that's that. Okay, so let's jump right into this and create a table view cell. So for this table view cell, it will be an um, it will be a custom table view cell. We don't just want to have a very like one line of text. We want to have a custom table view cell. So what I'm going to do is I will just drag that cell like that so that we have more room to work with. And this cell, maybe I want to have the row height to be um, the one that I have. In my in my prototype, which is 218, the row height. Okay, and then I will jump into the object palette and drag out some some of the object. So I will have an image view. Okay, so this will be the image view, and this image view I will drag it out like that. And I know for my op, uh, for my prototype, I will have a width of 48. A height of 48 just like that okay and for this one we will use maybe on top like that 16 okay and then we'll have a label so for this label we'll drag it out like that and this is maybe then maybe just leave it there as label and then here we'll have another label for the date okay all right and for this label I want to change the text the text I want to use the font to be a custom font let's say I want to use Avenue next Avenue next okay it looks quite good and the style to be medium 17 is fine and then I will click that one and then I will press enter. And for this one, I will also use Avenue Next Custom. But I just want it to be 13 because it is the date. So it's very small like that. Okay. All right, just like that. The next thing I want to do is I will have the text, the body text of this uh, of this tweet, right? So I will do it like this. Just drag it down like that. Okay, it doesn't matter really much. So the font, let's choose Avenue Next again. Avenue Next. 17 is fine. So one thing about this is although Twitter is a tweet is limited to one, 150 um, characters, but maybe those will be more than two. It, it surely will be more than two lines. We don't know how, how many lines is that, right? Because we have different devices. So I want to use this text label as um, the lines to be multiple lines. 
So I want to change that into zero, the lines here to zero so that we have multiple lines. Okay. So now let's add some constraint into this, but we, uh, okay. So for this one, I would do the top constraint and then the trail leading space. Okay. And also don't forget to do the width and height. Okay. And then for this one, I would do the left horizontal, the top space, and that should be good. Now for this, I would do the, the top, the vertical spacing, and then the horizontal spacing with the image. Okay. And it yields at me because this one is wrong. Um, okay. And just, I just press command enter so that it reframe the label. So for this one, let's do the top drag from the top vertical spacing to leading space and then trailing space and drag down to the bottom. And that should be good. And let's see what to, okay. It just, we have a, a reuse identifier. So maybe let's do it, click it to the table view cell. And over here we'll have an identifier. We will call this tweet cell. And this is without image. Okay. And we will have another cell, which is tweet cell with image. So I would click this one and then I will command D so that we have another. Okay. Just like that. And then we'll have another, another um, table view cell prototype. So for this one, I will just drag this down like that. Maybe I will clear on the constraint for this. And I hope that this will be a very good exercise for you to practice with um, auto layout. So let's clear on the constraint for this cell. And I forgot that this one, it should be all over here, right? Because we don't want it to be just like that. So to this trailing space. And then for this one, we also have the trailing space like this, right? And then this also until the end, the, the edge. Okay. And now let's have this one a little bit smaller. Okay. And how about this? We have an image. Okay. Check out an image like that. Just like this. And maybe I want to drag this down. Okay. And then I will drag this down like that because this should be eight and then make it to the edge, make it down. But I want this image, the height to be 100. Okay. And then because this one, I want from the image view, from the bottom of the image view to the bottom of, of the cell to just the space, just eight. So one to minus uh, eight. So if I do the math correctly, this should be minus 38. So the south, the south here. Okay. Minus 38, which is two thirty first to 31. Okay. So now let's do the only layout for that. So for this one, I would do width and height. Okay. And then the top space. Okay. And then chill leading space. Okay. I'm trying to do uh, slowly so, so that you can follow, but I really recommend you to do it yourself and then check again with me. And for this one, I would do from the horizontal space, vertical space or the top space to the container margin and then the trailing space. Okay. For this one, horizontal, vertical, and then trailing space. And for this one also, the vertical space, leading space, trailing space. And then I want to attach this one, the bottom of this, to this image view. And so I would do vertical space. Okay. And don't forget that we want this to be, um, Line zero, that's fine. But maybe we want this to be cooked. Um, and also we want that to the left leading space, right? And then the trailing space and then the bottom 
right? And then we want to keep the height, which is 100, okay? So this is 100. So now let's see that. Okay, we, it yelled at me because these two prototype cells has the same cell identifier, reuse identifier, because we just copy from this cell to this cell. So all we need to do now is to select, uh, select this cell and then change the identifier from without to with image. So cell with image, just like that, right? And that's it, everything will be all set. So I want to change these images and I want the, um, the mode to be aspect fill and this also aspect fill and this also aspect fill. Okay, so it looks nice. Um, what else? I want this image to be clips up views and this image clips up views also and this clips up views, okay? And you can find clips up views over here over the attribute inspector, image view, view, and then clips up view in the drawing part, okay? All right, why do we want to have the clips up view? Well, because as you see in the prototypes, we want those images, maybe I want to change to mine because these, I don't know why there are a lot of Japanese tweets about WWDC, okay? So I want those images to be circle. And so those gravatar image to be circle. And we know that it's always be 48. So I will do a layer corner radius over the identity inspector. And then user defined runtime attribute. I will click the plus sign and then over here we will do layer dot corner radius okay and then press enter and the typed to be number the value is 24 which is 48 over 2 okay because a rectangle this image is a rectangle a rectangle with the corner radius of half of its radius is a circle okay and now for this also we want to change this with the layer dot corner radius radius and press enter the type is number the value is also 24 okay and remember remember that you have to click the clip sub views because if you don't clip sub views it means that everything that out of the bounds of this image it will be cut away. It will not be shown. So if you do not clip the sub view, then it is still a circle. I'm sorry, it is still a square. For this one, I want to just the layer dot layer dot corner radius. Okay. And this one just maybe just five. So number it is five. Okay. So that's that for our UI so far. Now, in the next video, we will jump right into code and we will write a class for the um, table view cell. So stay tuned and I see you in the next video. Good job.